What's your reaction to President Zelensky saying that the missiles that landed in Poland were not Ukrainian? That's not the evidence. President Biden and NATO remain united in that message that a missile hitting Poland this week was likely an accident, not a deliberate Russian attack. But NATO ultimately blames Russia for the bloodshed for starting the invasion in the first place. Overnight, Russia launched more missiles on Ukraine's energy infrastructure. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley, says Russia is on its back and struggling with the loss of significant military equipment. And there's new video this morning of recently liberated Kursan showing abandoned Russian military posts. Milley even suggested that there may be a way to negotiate a political end to this war. Here with the very latest and to take a closer look at where things stand right now, I want to welcome back retired Major General William Ennert. Uh, good to see you this morning. So the missile strike in Poland, even if it was launched by Ukraine, which the president now says there is no evidence of that, the consensus from NATO is this is still Russia's fault. Well, it, that's right, Marty. You know, Russia uh, launched this war, Russia began this war, and Russia is the country that have been that has been uh, attacking uh, uh, U Ukraine with these missiles and these drones. Uh, particularly of concern is the fact that that Russia has once again started uh, hitting uh, Lviv and Yavoriv, the Ukrainian military base, uh, which are on the virtually on the Polish border. Uh, Lviv is within 50 miles of this Polish village, uh, and Yavoriv uh, is only six miles from the Polish border. So with these ongoing Russian missile strikes uh, so near the Polish border, it, it was bound to happen sooner or later. Well, I'm curious about this type of missile because it's an older missile and the question becomes its accuracy and how likely this is to happen again. What more can you tell us about what we know about the type of missile that landed in Poland? Well, that's right, Marty. This, this missile uh, was designed in the 1970s. So we're dealing with a piece of weaponry that's uh, more than a half century old. These, uh, these weapons are nowhere near as accurate as more modern weapons. Uh, and it was originally designed as uh, an anti-air weapon, that it was a ground-to-air or air-to-air -air missile. The Russians have modified theirs to now use them as a ground assault missile. Uh, and uh, while the Ukrainians have largely uh, retained theirs uh, for use as anti-air missiles. You know, I, I thought it stood out to me, and I think it certainly did to you, that the Russian chief has not been available to meet with General Milley following uh, these developments and the, the missile strike in Poland. What does that tell you about ongoing communication? Well, that's certainly a great concern. You know, these uh, uh, telephone uh, uh, hotlines were set up in order to defuse military crises. And when one party uh, refuses to participate or is unable to participate, uh, that uh, acts to uh, fail the system. And, and uh, frankly, uh, in, in this day and age, we can't afford to have a system that's designed to defuse conflicts fail to, to operate as planned. Uh, Russia on its back, which is what Milley is saying right now. Do you believe that's the case and that uh, a political negotiation, a diplomatic solution to end this war is closer than we've been? Well, certainly Ukraine is in a far better position than it was. Uh, Ukraine has successfully uh, pushed the Russians back from their assault on Kyiv. Uh, they've pushed them back in Kharkiv. Uh, and now they've uh, retaken uh, uh, all the way to the Dnipro River. Um, I think that uh, with the supply problems, the logistics problems, and the uh, manning problems that the Russians have seen with their forced uh, mobilization of 300,000 reserves, uh, it certainly shows that Russia is indeed on its back foot. And uh, with the increased weaponry that uh, Ukraine continues to receive from the West and from NATO, uh, I, I think that uh, that's going to continue to happen, absent some dramatic change in Russian tactics. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.